So one of the questions I get asked often is, Scott, why aren't you famous? People who read my books, people who look at my videos, the spiritual Dr. Seuss videos in particular, uh, and also people who see me channel songs, just creating in the moment, uh, they're just flabbergasted and are curious. You know, why aren't you more out there? And I, I want to take the time to answer that question because I recognize that in me answering the question, it may trigger some things for you and help resolve some issues that you're going through. So, first thing that comes up, why aren't you famous? My inner critic is the first voice. Some of you might call the ego. And it says, because you're lazy, you haven't applied yourself, you're not willing to go the extra mile, you're not disciplined enough, and all of that is one level, the surface level of a very complex and, and an interesting conversation. So I say to my critic, thank you. Thank you for wanting the best for me and for pointing out that I haven't been living up to my potential and I could be a better human being, all of that. And I thank it for sharing and, and then I go a little deeper. Why aren't I famous? And then I, I have to own and admit that, first of all, yeah, my, my ego has wanted to be famous, not as much anymore, but when I've journaled and asked about why I want to be famous, I don't like the answers. I want to be famous so, so that people notice me, so that I feel better about myself. So there is a, a one part of it that I like, which is because I can reach more people, but then I question, why do I want to reach more people? I, live, I lived in the United States where everything was about more, 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 and, and I, I really came to a point in my life where I deeply, deeply questioned, why more? Why do I need more YouTube subscribers? Why do I need more book sales? Why do I need more money? Why do I think I need more love? You know, what, what's this thing about more? So, so my ego has had the fantasy of, of success and Oprah, and I've just really delved into, okay, I've been around famous people. I've had friends who are famous. I've had the good fortune of singing at workshops and lectures of very famous people, you know, uh, Deepak, Marianne Williamson, um, John Gray. The, there, there has been, uh, and I've befriended some of these people, and I've looked at, at what fame brings, because it's not all glory, and you know that. You know that. You know, I, I would prefer to keep a low profile and to not have too many responsibilities, mostly the responsibility that I crave is to be responsible for my vibration, to be responsible for keeping my mind so clean and free of fear and guilt that my vibration is helpful, truly helpful each day to others who may never get to know me, who may never, you know, see me or hear my name. So that's number one. My vibration is more important than outer success. Number two is I realize that my ego has wanted it to overcompensate for a misunderstanding about myself. In other words, like, I'm not enough. I'm inadequate. There's something wrong with me. But if I become famous, then I won't have to feel that. It'll just go away because everybody's going to want my autograph. So I recognize the ego's motivation for wanting fame has not been in alignment with my soul. My soul is in charge. That's why words like lazy and more disciplined, I don't really take all that very seriously because if my soul had a, a contract, a calling, to be more famous, then it would happen. There would be nothing I could do to prevent it. It's like Eckhart Tolle sitting on a bench being so happy and 
the world came to his doorstep and said, write a book, you know, uh, teach, be a teacher. He never had any desire for it. Gandhi, you know, <laughs> you know, the people I admire and respect have never had a, a single moment of desiring external riches or fame. So <clears throat> that's why I'm not famous. Even though I still love the song from the 1980s. Fame, fame, I want to live forever. I want to learn how to fly high. I feel it coming together. People will see me and cry. Fame, I want to make it to heaven. Light up the sky like a flame. I want to live forever Baby, remember my name And that's a very interesting and telling bunch of words. Fame. I want to live forever. Well, as an ego, it says it ain't going to happen. But somehow, if you receive enough glory and attention, then the ego thinks that that's that's going to help you glide into eternity. Uh, <laughs> I want to live forever. I want to learn how to fly. Is fame going to make me fly? Or is it just going to burden me with all these responsibilities? So many emails. You know, even getting a staff to, to help with the social media and the emails. I'm going to have to answer to that staff every day. So. So I'm going to learn how to fly. No, fame is going to weigh me down to the earth more. Uh, what are the other lyrics? Um, I want to live forever. I want to learn how to fly. Oh, yeah, I feel it coming together. People will see me and cry. And what's that going to do for me? <laughs> so my desire to not be famous is, is quite narcissistic. And the other part of that song, I'm going to make it to heaven. The Ego thinks that with enough fame, I'm going to make it to heaven. Nah, I'd rather not. I'd rather not go there with a name. Baby, remember my name? Eh, I'd rather be forgotten. Not just by people, but by me. <laughs> Lord, give me the serenity to forget this illusion called Scott Grace. That's what I want. And I want every video and every book and everything that I put out to be coming from a place where I already feel whole, where I need nothing from anyone, and I just want to serve. I've been given some gifts. Let me serve with humility. And for God's sake, please, Lord, don't make me famous. Hope that was helpful. Write in the comments section if that impacted you or you know, if, if you related to it. You may not have um, had the desire for fame, but everyone has maybe tasted the desire for more attention, more love, more this. And really what happiness comes from is having less of things, less ego, less, you know, all these external desires, less, more is less. So be my guest, and I confess that I want you to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Not because I need or want your subscription, but because it does help videos get more out there and reach more people. And I guess I still want to be famous. <laughs> Everything in this video is wrong. Damn it. All right. See you in the next video.